G'day, I'm Gavin Hurley from Pro Angler and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're somewhere a little bit different, not in the, the magic trout stream on the other side of the world, we're at the Alpine Trout Farm at New G. It's about an hour from Melbourne and it's a fantastic place to come and have a fish and bring your kids. We're going to meet up with Michael, we're going to run through the whole trout process um, from, from, from eggs right through to some of these monstrous fish they've got here. With a bit of luck, we're going to be able to catch a few different species as well. And there's also like a fly fishing pond for catch and release. So it's a fantastic place and uh, we'll look forward to bringing it to you over the course of the show. Well, we're lucky enough to uh, have Michael, one of the uh, owners of the uh, Alpine Trout Farm. He's going to run us through a few things that will happen at the hatchery today. Yeah, uh, Gavin, what we're going to do is we'll, uh, we'll go through the life cycle of a trout. So we'll look at the hatchery stage from fertilisation of an egg all the way through basically trout on the dinner table. Sure. Uh, what we'll look at today is probably we've got a few unique species of trout on the farm. We'll go through those and um, get a rod in your hand. You're going to have a bit of a fish and see how you go. And um, we'll give you the, the chance to give a fly pond the crack as well. Fantastic. Should be a great day. Gavin, this is where it all starts, mate. So come through and I'll show you how it all works. So and this is, yeah, funny enough, like big milk cartons, you know, or milk, milk bottles. Or, yeah. yeah, no, it is like that. So basically what happens is we start off when the females are ready, we'll strip the females and we'll milk the males. Basically, we'll just get a large basket, we'll mix it all together, lovely cocktail, and then we'll start putting the eggs in here. Sure. And what we have is we've got water coming up from the bottom, so you get through the header tank, goes from the bottom, comes up, running through the eggs, oxygenates the eggs, and once they start developing, we shock the eggs. So basically, we empty them out in the basket, drop them a bit, and basically brings out the good eggs from the bad eggs, and then from there, we go out and we start running them through a sorter and the sorter basically looks at bad eggs, good eggs, spits out the good in one basket, the bad in another, and yeah, this is an intensive part of the year. Basically, this is all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Trout only hatch once a year, and this is it. You lose yeah. it here, you, you, you're gone for a year. That's right, it's a pretty critical time, you know, for all your year, so, yeah. Well, yeah, you need to spend a fair bit of effort into this we to do. make sure they get to that next stage. And, and that we do, we've got resources, and it's a, it's a 24 hour operation, like during the hatchery. Yep. stage so yeah like I said this is the most critical part you get this wrong and you got no business yeah and then the next stage yeah and then the next stage, next so, yeah, stage. come on out and we'll show you the next stage yep. so basically this is the next stage now Gavin yep. so what we do is once the eggs have come out of yacht rollers as we call them we run the eggs in here so we've got water constantly flowing this is a spinning disc It'll pick up the eggs, it's got a UV. As the eggs go through, it spits a UV through them. The good eggs will come out here and tell you the number of good eggs you have, and that's where the bad eggs so go. So it's all automatic. So all yeah, automatic. Yeah, yep. fantastic. So yeah. once it starts, yeah. Right, right. You know what you got, yeah. and yeah, beautiful. Amazing. There's a lot more, I think, for everybody in, in it's not just a chuck and chance. It's, there's a, it's, it's a lot of science goes with all this, you know? It so certainly it's, does. It's amazing, yeah. Yeah, a lot of work. And then basically from this, we go out to the hatching basket. So I'll show you that. Right, so essentially what we have is, once we finish going through the egg counter and the sorter, we put them in these hatching baskets. Obviously that stage is completed now, but the yep. eggs will sit in the basket. Just in there, which is just a, a grill yep, system. Just a mesh yep. basket. And basically once the, um, the eggs hatch, the fish will go down to the bottom. They'll swim through the grill. They'll sit in the bottom for a period. They've got like a yolk sack. Once they feed on after a week or two, they'll start rising, looking for feed, and then that's when we start feeding. So once that's happened, we take the baskets out, and this is where Feeds we go to now. Onto these, yeah, So sure. this is where we end up. Yep. So basically what we have here is now, they've consumed the sack, and now they've come up and they've started looking for feed. And this is what we have. There's probably about 40,000 fish in this one here. So. 
And that's throughout the entire hatchery, so each one's holding about 40 odd thousand. There's about a million fish in the hatchery at the moment. So we start off, it's a, it's a fine dust. Yep. And obviously as they get larger, we start feeding more. So with the fine dust, we just, start, we just sprinkle it out. And I'll just start, as you can see, we're just starting to bubble up. So we, this is a young one's feeding, and then from here I'll show you the big boys how they feed. Yep. So what we have, Gavin, is so out of a hatchery we come out into these tanks, yep. and basically from these tanks is in when we start putting them out into the ponds. So what we have here is the the bulls, as we call them, they're basically the most aggressive eaters out of the smalls. So we put them out, and these are our lead fish. Sure. So these will be the first ones out on the dinner table from what we saw in the hatchery. Sure. So from the hatchery, we've gone out to the external tanks. Yep. And now out to the ponds, and this is a final stage. So from here now, we start growing them out for the market. Yeah, sure. So this okay, is so, the next stage, Michael? Yeah, yeah. so once we're, um, we're done with the tanks, we'll come out into the ponds. So these are the bulls, as I mentioned earlier. Yep. So this is the first series of bulls. So these are being pushed at the moment. We have, there's 100,000 fish in this pond here. Yeah, wow. And as you can see, feeding them, yeah, this is how we train them and they, they just get into the feed. Feeding habit and stuff. And feeding that, habit. I and guess, affects how big they grow and how fast. And That's right, yeah. yeah.